Tonight in a COIN 6 investigation, we uncover the truth about what's in Portland's water. Tonight, we'll show you proof that there was dangerous bacteria the city knew about, but still kept it to themselves. Welcome, everyone, to COIN 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola. And our reporter, Carla Castaño, first broke this story ever since. She's been combing through records and reports and asking the Water Bureau for answers. So this is our sample station. First thing I do is open the box. So we let that run for a while. That came back. Came back as a bad sample. So it was not good. Over and over again, right? Yeah, it's been a problem. Thousands of pages of documents obtained through a COIN6 News public records request show an alarming level of total coliforms. The bacteria levels were so high within Portland's water system in September, they took a reservoir and tank offline and began flushing the system in southwest Portland. We've never seen uh, anything like this before. Our investigation found further tests were conducted, finding harmful bacteria near southwest 27th and Nevada Court. At the Washington Park Reservoir and at Southeast 50th and Roan. The bacteria was present in 11% of the samples taken. Anytime bacteria is found in more than 5% of the samples, the public warning process is to be triggered. Clearly, you folks knew about this and the potential health risks and failed to notify the public. There aren't potential health risks. But there are numerous case studies citing the dangers and even the Environmental Protection Agency's Office of Water considers all three bacteria human pathogens. You're talking to somebody that doesn't have a background in biology or, or medicine. And you're a microbiologist? Uh, my graduate work is in uh biology with uh, drinking water chemistry and microbiology. We showed some of the information to Scott Fernandez, who's worked closely with the Portland Water Bureau. I was a member of the Portland Utility Review Board and before that the Water Quality Advisory Committee. Fernandez says he's worried about the bacteria in the water and frustrated the city has not notified the public. These are opportunistic pathogens that could be very problematic, especially for children and immunocompromised people and older people too. So this is what, a, what we have a big concern with. COIN 6 News uncovered this email showing bureau staff knew the contaminants could cause bacterial infection. And while they prepared boil water maps for the entire city, they held back. They are only required to if E. coli is found. They also chose not to warn hospitals and medical centers on their warning list. There was nothing to uh, alert our customers to. Not the Interbacter amnogenius, the Interbacter clocoli complex, or the Pantora species? Nope. The Water Bureau sent the samples to a private lab, not one of the 71 state accredited laboratories. The Oregon Health Authority wasn't told about the presence of the pathogens either. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're referring to. Commissioner Nick Fish, who oversees the Portland Water Bureau, declined to be interviewed for our story. Meanwhile, the Portland Water Bureau has had so many positive of samples for total coliform bacteria, the Oregon Health Authority issued them a violation on October 11th, meaning they are going to have to notify the 17,000 customers in the Southwest Hills who receive the potentially contaminated water. They have until November 10th to do the public notice. The notice has to say people with severely compromised immune systems, infants, and some elderly may be at increased risk and should seek advice from their health care provider. This almost two months after they may have been exposed. And now we're told after extensive flushing of the system, the test within the last few days showed the water is clean. But the Bureau still has not located the source of the September contamination. Whether or not we're able to pin down, you know, why did we have this total coliform and this, this amount of total coliform, this, this repeat uh, sample after sample, um, I don't know. This while the Bureau's own emails referred to a similar case in Utah where they found biofilm in the pipes likely caused the bacteria, a problem best handled through pipe maintenance. And the Portland City Auditor has identified the Water Bureau falls short of industry standards and water mains are flushed and replaced infrequently. The deferred maintenance has been a big problem because that allows for the biofilms to, to begin to increase in size and harbor these, these pathogens 
pathogenic microorganisms in the pipe. A problem that left unchecked could make people sick. There can be uh, intestinal problems and skin problems and cardiovascular problems. Carla Castaño, Coin News 6. Thank you, Carla. Now again, if you live in southwest Portland, there's a good chance that you will be getting a letter in the mail in the next week or so notifying you of this bacteria, even though once again the flushing of the system has apparently worked. The latest samples don't show anything, and the Portland Water Bureau says that water is safe to drink. And we saw results today from another coin investigation into the brown water coming out of taps in Longview. The city is now promising to start work tomorrow, replacing the aging pipe that the water comes from. And we also got results back today from our independent testing on the water. They show levels of lead that exceeded EPA standards. And while it's not necessarily a health hazard, it can account for the bad taste and smell. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, go to our website, coin.com, click on the Report It tab, and tell us about it.